Liza's with us in Orlando, Florida. Hi, Liza. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey, or to the Ramsey Show. What's up? Hi. Thank you for taking my call, and I appreciate what all you guys do. I've been starting to listen now since we've had to stay home. Ah. So it's been a, a little education here, but I still have a couple of questions. Okay. And um, my house is paid off. Good. And I have a friend who told me, why are you paying the insurance? I mean, when have you had something catastrophic happen since you bought the home? Well, once, when um, Hurricane Irma came. Yeah. And I was going to put the roof on myself, but Irma helped me along, so the insurance paid for it. <laughs> so she says, you got a full roof on now. What else can happen? The fire station's about two, two blocks from you. Um, or either lower the replacement value. And I'm just a little bit scared about not having insurance on the house because this is my only asset, you know, that I have that's big time money. Yeah, so I think your friend's kind of dumb. <laughs> right, and she has money to back up if she had any problem with the house. I, I, I'm not that. Lucky. I've got the money to write a check and rebuild my house, but I have homeowners insurance. Okay, so I should just continue that because I don't even know if I can not have insurance on the house. Um, should I lower the replacement value or should I leave it the way no, it is? I, I, you know, if you're going to pay for insurance, pay for insurance that replaces the house if it burns. Okay. Well, the fire station's two blocks away. I know. <laughs> but you still have something will still burn. I mean, it can still. I mean, I don't. You I, the chance of you having a total loss is not there probably, depending on what happens. But um, I mean, I've been to Orlando. I was there last week. There, you guys have thunderstorms like we have in Tennessee. Yes. So who's to say you don't get struck by lightning? I don't know. Oh, that's true. You yeah, because we're the capital for, yeah. light, for lightning strikes. Yeah. And, can and, I, know. but I wouldn't think I would have been able to do it because I have an equity line on the house. No, they're not going to let you. I thought you said you had it paid off. Well, the house is paid off. No, it's not. You've got an equity line, line on it. That's a different company. It's with my bank, with my checking. I know, but it's, they've got a, your house is not paid off. They have a lien on your house. Yeah. Oh, so and, oh, and I've been just letting that linger there because I just thought it's like a, like an open credit card type of thing. My husband's passed away, so yeah. now I'm dealing things on my own. He's probably rolling on his grave listening to my conversation now. <laughs> oh yeah. No, you listen. Rolling. You're you're doing good because you're asking questions and you're learning. That's always yes. good. Let's yes. leave the insurance in place and let's call the bank and cancel the equity line. Okay, I don't because I don't have anything hardly on. It's probably about five hundred dollars or something. Yeah, but yeah. the value of it is like thirty. So yeah, uh, that's the the, the pre. It's an, it's an accident that? looking for a place to happen is what it is. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Absolutely. Yeah, I th there yeah. are times that you can self insure through some things that you want to, um, but not a house though, right? Not a house. I I just you know, but I mean you know, like I had a a three thousand dollar Jeep. Yeah. That was at the lake house. Right. It was just a lake house Jeep. Yep. And um, I did not carry collision on it. Yeah. Because they wanted like $500 for collision on a $3,000 <laughs> Jeep. And I'm like, I'll just take the, you know, I'll take the risk. It's right. a $3,000 Jeep. I can, if, if I, if the thing just explodes tomorrow into a thousand pieces because, you know, whatever, I hit a wall with it, I don't know, then, then I'll just get another one. It's not, but because it's not a big deal, but yeah. stuff, you know, my nicer cars, I still carry coverage on. Now, because I've looked at it, I'm going, okay, I've got this vehicle that's worth this. Yeah. Uh, I can afford to buy one of those a month. Right, right, right. Even though it's expensive. But, I mean, I'm in a financial condition to do that. Right. But I look at the value that I'm covering versus what it costs me to cover it, and I'll let them take the risk for that. Ah. It's just a value proposition I for see. me. I see. And, and so, but, you know, technically, they're making money on me. And and technically, it will cost you more money if you didn't have it insured. I mean, you would have to go drop, you know, the money. When technically, if you pay the insurance, you come out cheaper if something was to happen. Well, certainly if something happens, but yeah. that's when they don't come out. Right. And on average, you know they're going to come out. Absolutely. So that, that's the deal. Yeah. But uh, but I still carry coverage on the cars, uh, the nicer cars. Yeah. And on other things. Uh, and, of course, I carry liability on everything. Lots and lots of liability. It's the best buy in the insurance world. And Dave is saying he covers, he, he carries full coverage on the nicer cars. So yeah. I just want to make sure America hears that. Yeah. But I don't, <laughs> you know, but, but you know, if I've got a, a farm truck or something, I don't I don't put a bunch of insurance on it. You right. know, it's not what we're doing. It's, it's right. a... That's an easy enough thing to replace. And but, you have full coverage on your lake house, even though it's not a, it's not as big as your house, but it's you have full coverage on your lake house. As absolutely. Well. Yeah. 
I just want to make sure yeah, people understand that. And they're all paid for, and I yeah. could write a check and build one of those in 30 seconds if yeah. something happened to one of them, but I'm going to go ahead and let the uh, let, let the homeowner sit in place. It's yes, just sir. pretty simple. 